Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host and commentator, James Tyson, for the second pool game here live at Mesquite, Texas, at the Mesquite Girls Softball Complex. Pool game number two, 75 minutes finish in the inning. Six run limit per half. I think I'm done with ice. You're watching Buzz NTX 2010 play the Colleyville Diamonds. Leading off is going to be number 13, Gabrielle, followed up by number one, Collins, followed up by number 10, Kenna, hitting in the third spot. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's play some softball. And Gabrielle's going to take a ball one down low. This is number four for Colleyville, starting off in the circle. Jennifer, welcome back. Lindsay, welcome back to the stream. <laughs> what was that? Okay, I missed that call there. One ball and one strike. And she's gonna fire it over to second, over to first for a routine play, and Gabrielle will be out on a 4-3 for the first out. If you get any win, number let one, me know. Number one, Collins Mercadante. Wind is coming out from the outfield into the home plate, so I do got the mic tucked into my shirt. So hopefully we won't get too much uh, wind noise into the mic. Next batter, number one, Collins sitting in the number two spot. Cameron and I are ready to watch Sister JC play ball. Yes, Jennifer. Not sure what that was all about. But we're back at play. Oh, I can't wear the... Uh, wristbands on their belts. Oh, and a swing and a miss. Strike one on Collins. She's wanting all of that one. And that's a good pitch to hit. Strike two. Looking Collins behind the count now. 0-2. Mostly cloudy now, clouds have moved in. And that's down low for ball one. Bringing the count to one ball and two strikes now. Wind has picked up a little bit coming out from the outfield. Probably around 13 to 15 miles per hour currently, not too bad. And she's gonna get a piece of it and protect the plate there. That was a good pitch to hit. And she'll see another pitch. Josie, Jim, welcome back. Nine viewers on the stream. I'm babysitting for Austin and Jody. Oh, so I'm watching on the stream. You got us on the big screen. Oh, and a swing and a miss. Strike three, and that's out number Nine two. Hundred. Number ten, Kenny Collins. And here we go. Buzz NTX with two outs. Number 10, Kenna stepping up the box, hitting in the third spot. Let's see if they can work their two out magic like they've done many a time. We'll see what happens. And she's going to pop her up out of play to the right side. Foul ball. Strike one. All right, the whole one pitch. Good hit, smashed over to the left side. That's going to drop for a base hit at least. She's going around second. Here she comes, and she'll settle in for a stand-up double. Good hit by Kenna. Now batting, number 16, Natalie Bohan. You it for the guy. You can walk in any trap, and I bet they know my name. Yo. Frank Matthews of the South put me in the Hall of Fame. All right, number 16, Natalie stepping up in the box. Got two outs on her. Runner in scoring position over at second. Let's see if she can trade places or bring her around. And that's going to be high for ball one. And 
got to be outside for ball two. Two balls and no strikes to count now. Ben Webb, thank you, sir, for hopping on and giving us a look-see. Appreciate you. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, just below the knees there. Man, I thought that was a good pitch to hit. Natalie's going to be giving a gift there on that one. Number six, Avery, hitting in the fifth spot over waiting in the warm-up circle. If Natalie can find a way on by via walk or a hit. And she does draw the walk, ball four. Now batting, number six, Avery Welch. Avery coming up in the box now. Had a nice home run in the first game over in right center. This will be a little bit more of a challenge on this field. These fences are 220, about the same height. She's going to have to punch at 240. But she's got runners at first and second with two outs on her. Ooh, that's going to be inside high for ball one. And she rips one out to left center. That could go all the way to the fence. Nope, center field's going to get it, but that's going to bring around two runs. Here comes Natalie around third. They're going to throw a home. Not an accurate throw. There goes Avery over to third. We're going to mark her down for a stand-up double. Two RBIs putting Buzz on the board. Number two to seven. nothing. Number five. Kendall and Jones. she gets over to the third with the you throwdown coming it. home. Let's go bluff bluff and she yeah. continues Let's go her hot streak, streak today. Number five, when Kendall coming up in the box, the hitting in the sixth spot. Got a runner of third. Her bat has been hot this morning. She was two for two in the first game. Let's see if she can keep that trucking. Oh, foul tip. That's going to keep uh, Avery over at third. That's going to be a foul ball, strike one. She's working now, kid. All right. I can, I can sketch you in somewhere if you want. And I'm going to pop her up on the right side. That's definitely going to be foul ball. The wind takes it over towards the fence. And that'll be a long strike, too. All right, Kendall behind the count now. 0 and 2. Got Avery over at third. Two outs on her. She can square one up. Good pitch to hit. That's going to land in no man's land, and she's going to be safe at first, bringing in Avery for a single RBI. Just like on the first game. That's what I mean. I hate when balls. Tuck in right behind the pitcher there. No second problem. base, Number 11. first base. That's a tough, uh, tough play. Okay. All right, number 11, Laney, number sitting, hit, hitting in the seventh spot. Excuse me. Two outs on her. She's got a runner at first. Let's see if she can keep things going here. Good pitch to hit. Smashes it out. The left field is that going to drop? And the left fielder does get the catch. But the damage has been done. Three runs scored by Buzz NTX come out early. And leading three to zero going into the bottom of the first inning. So they will score three runs on one, two, three, four hits. No errors committed by Colleyville with one left on base. All righty, we will pause for station identification and be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Give us about 30 seconds.
work. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the first inning, Buzz leading three to zero. Starting pitcher is going to be number 12, Alyssa, in the circle. Let's try to line out your defense for you. Looks like we got number 11, Laney, behind the dish. Got number six, Avery, over at third base. Number 13, Gabrielle, over at shortstop. Looks like number seven, Trinity, over at second. Number 27, Cosette, at first. Number one, Collins, over at right field. Number three, JC, at center. And number 10, Kenna, over at left field. And Avery throws a strike down the pipe there. I think she may have found her zone again. Yep, foul ball to the right side. That was a good pitch to hit. That was just a fluke, ladies and gentlemen, that first game. That was, it was kind of uh, odd. It was weird. Alyssa walked five batters in the first uh, two innings. Uh, pretty unprecedented, and that was unlike her. So, you know, sometimes it happens with pitchers. And she fouls it over the left side. She'll see another pitch. Two strikes, no balls. This is number one. Hitting leadoff for Colleyville Diamonds. And just a little high for ball one. Billy Beavers, welcome to the stream, sir. And that'll be just a little low there, bring the count even, two and two. Good pitch right down the pipe, strike three looking. And she's back, ladies and gentlemen. She is finding the zone. That just solidifies that that first game for her was a fluke. She just wasn't ready. She's looking like good old Alyssa now. Now yeah, that one's in the dirt out inside for ball one. That's smart. She's right. And umpire will talk to the uh, coach. And I think he's going to say the same thing about number 30 here. He's not going to allow wristbands on the belt. Hmm. Not going to make her take it off. So here we go. Continue on play. And down a little bit there. Bringing in ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Wind has shifted now from right to left on your screen. Good pitch there. Almost getting Austin in the bucket over there. Foul ball. He had to hop off that bucket and dodge out of the way. Pull some matrix. All right, two balls and one strike. One out on number 30. Good pitch, swing and a miss. Strike two, bringing the count even, two and two. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And she's going to fire it over. Avery with a nice scoop over to first for the second out. Good play. Four, the five, three. Two outs. Number 17 for Colleyville coming up in the box, hitting in the third spot. Got two outs on her, no runners on. Coming in. And that'll be a little low for ball one. Paige, welcome back. Glad to have you on the stream. 11 viewers on the stream right now. Appreciate you all hopping on. I know some of you are here sharing the stream. Do me a big favor and smash that like button. Oh, and uh, swinging them is strike one. That's going to even up the count. One ball and one strike. 
This is how we do it. I'll do it. I'll be the first one. Smash that like button there. I don't know if y'all can see it when you got the stream on, maybe on your mobile device. Don't see the chat. And that'll be down low, bringing in ball two. No harm, no foul, no runners on. Getting away from Laney a little bit there. Technically probably a wild pitch. That was a good pitch. That's going to fly out to right field. Foul ball and will be a long strike too. That brings the count now two and two. And check swing. She held off on that one. Good take. Bring the count full. Three and two. Fifteen pitches now from Melissa thus far out there in the circle for Buzz NTX. Good pitch. That's going to be a foul ball over to Avery. And number 17 will see another pitch. And that'll be down a little low, and she will draw the walk. That was pretty close. But just outside of the strike zone, down low inside. Number four now coming up the box, hitting in the four spot. She's got a runner at first with two outs on her. And I swing and a miss, strike one. And she's going to fire a base hit out there to right center. And that's going to land for a base hit. JC fires it in. That's going to hold the runner over at third. She will move to third. And that's going to drop for a single. Hollyville now coming up threatening. Got runners on the corners with two outs. Number 27 hitting in the fifth spot. Got two outs on her. And I swing and a miss. Oh, they shouldn't have made that throw. It was close. But that brings the runner home from third. Yes, sir. No balls. One strike. Runner in scoring position at second now with two outs. Colleyville on the board. And just a little bit outside down low for ball one. It's going to bring the count. One ball and one strike now. That's a good pitch right there. Fouls are out on the right side, out of play into the next field. And that puts number 27 behind the count now. One ball and two strikes. James Scott, welcome back, sir. If you are just now joining us, we're in pool game number two. And a little chopper over to Avery, over to first for the third out. And they get the third out, and we will move on with minimal damage done. Twenty-four pitches is what it took number twelve, Alyssa, with the help from her defense. She's got one strikeout in that half inning. One run did come in for Colleyville. They did get on the board. One run on one hit. No errors from Buzz. 
with one left on base. We'll head to the top of the second inning where Buzz NTX leading three to one over the Colleyville Diamonds as you see coming across your screen, screen right now. On the player cards, your next batter's up. Leading off is gonna be number 27, Cosette. Followed up by number seven, Trinity hitting in the ninth spot. Followed up by number 12, Alyssa in the 10th spot. And if any of those can come on, then we'll see number three, JC in 11th spot. If you're wondering why you haven't seen Mia Coleman up in the box, she's uh, nursing a quad injury, I believe, from track. See, I told you. See, I told you. Remember what I was talking about in the last game? You're in the warm-up circle on two outs. And then here you are leading off in the next inning. We talked about it. Focus. Don't worry about me. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the second no inning. Number 27. Here Cozy comes Tyson. some system. All right, number 27 in the box. Starting a fresh new inning here. She's leading off. And gonna pop her up out of play. And that'll be a long foul ball, strike one. And she pops one out to, to the middle there. Shortstop will come up and get the out for the first out. Technically, we'll call that a six. Pop out for the first out. Next batter is going to be number seven, Trinity, hitting in the ninth spot. Got one out on her. No runners on. And it'll be down low outside for ball one. Oh, she's going to take a swing and a little bit of a high one there. Foul tips it. And that'll bring in strike one, even up the count, one on one. And that's a good take there. Ball two, high. Two balls and one strike is a count now. One out. Buzz leading three to one. Good pitch to hit right there. That's gonna go center. Oh, nice catch by the second baseman. Goes deep and makes that catch for the second out. Number 12, Alyssa Medina. All righty, here comes number 12, Alyssa, hitting in the 10th spot. No runners on. She got two outs on her. Let's see if uh, Buzz can work their two out magic. And that'll be down low, ball one. And that'll be down low for ball two. Alyssa getting ahead in the count now. Two balls and no strikes. And that'll be high and tight for ball three. Alyssa ahead in the count. Three and oh, hitters count. Let's see if uh, Austin gives her the green light on a good pitch or not. And he's going to call a strike one on the top left-hand corner of the strike zone there. Bring the count three and one now. Three. 
And there's a shot up the gap. Oh, second baseman can't get a glove on it. Hard hit ball. We're going to give her a single on that one. And Buzz has a runner on. Number seven, Trinity will come in and pinch run for Alyssa, the pitcher. Courtesy run. Next batter at the bottom of the lineup here. Number three, JC, hitting in the 11th spot. She's got a runner at first with two outs on her. Rudy Alino. Okay, Fasa, welcome back to the stream, sir. Ooh, he's going to call a ball on that one. It looks like that was a pretty good pitch to hit. Alyssa's going to get the stolen base out there. Let's see if we can get her credit. All right. One ball, no strikes. Runner in scoring position now at second. And she's going to smash it over to left field. And the left field makes a great catch out there in left field. Hard hit ball. And that will do it. For the third out. You get one hit out of it. No runs. No errors. One left on base. And we'll head to the bottom of the second inning. Buzz NTX leading three to one thus far. Yo, G. All righty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, back at the action. Leading off for Colleyville Diamonds. Number 55 hitting in the sixth spot. Right, you have to excuse me, I'm uh, chomping on a little piece of beef jerky here. I try not to eat while I'm on stream. I try to keep it professional, but the belly is calling. And that's going to be ball one down low, wild pitch. Mm, just a little low for ball two. Oh, she takes a swing at it and fouls it off. Right back to the umpire for a strike one. There's a good pitch. Oh, just over Kendall's head there. That's going to fall for a base hit. That's a hard one to field right there. And Colleyville has a leadoff runner at first. All right, next batter, number 99, hitting in the seventh spot. No outs, got a runner at first now. Oh. 
And I swing him in, strike one, good pitch. And I swing him in, strike two. Alyssa heading the count now, no balls and two strikes. And that'll be a little low for ball one. One ball and two strikes is the count now. Runner at first, no outs. And that's a good take down low inside. Even up the count now, two and two. Runner still at first. And that's going to be a little chopper to third. She's going to go over to second, get the lead runner. That's Avery over there making the play. And number 99 reaches on a fielder's choice. Next batter up, number 10, hitting the eighth spot. Got to run over at first. One out. And that'll be low for ball one. And there's one that finds the zone right at the knees. Bringing in strike one. One ball and one strike is a count. That was pitch number 35 from Alyssa in the circle for Buzz NTX. She shakes that one off. Normally Amber calls the pitches. She's not here today. I think she's at uh, another ball game with her daughter. So Austin is the pitch caller today. Has ball two just missing the zone on the inside. Bring the count now. Two balls and one strike. Good pitch there. She gets a piece of him, fouls it back at the fence for strike two, evening up the count, two and two. <laughs> two balls, two strikes, runner at first, one out. Good pitch, strike three looking for the second out. All right, it looks like we've got number 19 for Colleyville hitting in the ninth spot. She's got two outs on her with a runner over at first. And that'll be a little low for ball one. Three strikeouts, two, two strikeouts for Alyssa in the game thus far. A lot better performance than her first game starting off. And nice pitch on the inside of the zone there, bringing in strike one looking. Count is one ball and one strike. Good pitch. That's going to be fouled over to the right side. Late on that one, but that brings the count now. One ball and two strikes. And number 19, stepping back in the box. One ball, two strikes, runner first, two outs. Wins has shifted now, coming out from the right field into home. And that was a good pitch there. She fouls it off, gets a piece of it, and she'll see another pitch. Camera is holding true. We do got a good view. And this is a good ballpark to stream from. And strike three looking. Back to back K's for Alyssa. And that will do it, three outs. And we'll head to the top of the third inning. 
or Buzz NTX 2010 leading three to one over the Colleyville Diamonds. And we will pause for our station identification for Facebook and their copyrights. And we'll be back. Welcome, Stephen Miner. Appreciate you hopping on and give us a look. See, Sarah, we'll be back. Stay tuned. Give us about 40 seconds. All righty, here we go back at the action. Ladies and gentlemen, top of the third inning. Game got started nine, about 12.01. Gabriel Gold. 75 minutes, finished the inning. So cold, I think I'm done with Six hey, run hey, limit per half. We have rotated to the top of the lineup now for Buzz NTX. Lead off hitter is going to be number 13, Gabrielle, 0 for 1 in the game. She grounded out to a 4 3 her first time up back in the first. Let's see if she can redeem herself here. And she does. She's going to drop one over the first, and she is too fast for the right fielder to uh, get now the throw in to first. And coming out aggressive on the swing, got a leadoff hitter now with Gabrielle at first base. Number one, Collins coming up in the box. Oh, for one of the game, struck out her first time up back in the first. She's got a runner at first now with no outs. Let's see if she can keep the heat on showing bunt and she's gonna call ball oh and they get her yep i saw that from here unfortunately not fast enough she's also known for her speed i'm surprised she got caught on that one maybe just left a little late Should have been watching the catcher during warm-up. She did have a good throw down to second. So two balls and no strikes on. Collins now. One out. No runners on now. Unfortunately. And it's going to be a little low. Collins ahead in the count now. Three balls and no strikes. Oh, good pitch to hit right there. May have been a little low, but that was a nice change up. Takes a look at it going by. Three balls and one strike. Still ahead in the count. Nice hitter's count here. Only one out. And she's going to get a little early on that one and foul it to the left side. Bringing the count full, three and two. Here comes a payoff pitch. And a little dribbler right to the pitcher over to first base. Routine play there is going to be for the second out. 4-1-3. Now batting, number 10, Kenna Collins. All right, number 10, Kenna. One for one in the game. Had a nice double her last time up. Let's see if she can get things started here. So far in the last six batters, bats have been cold. Middle of the lineup here has been pretty hot. And that'll be outside for ball one. 40 pitches now in the game for number four out there for the Diamonds in the circle. 
Good pitch to hit. That's going to get by third baseman, and she'll be on there for a single. And Kenna so far goes two for two in the game. Natalie Bohan. Do it for the guy. You can walk in any trap, and I bet they know my name. Frank Matthews of the South. Number nine, 16. Natalie coming up in the box, hitting in the four spot. Got two outs on her, runner at first. She walked her last time up back in the first inning. And she's going to hit it right to shortstop. They're going to get the force out at second. And that will do it. For the third out. And the defense is going to have to come out and hold Colleyville once again. So we did get two hits on no runs, no errors, and one left on base, technically. And we'll head to the bottom of the third inning where Buzz NTX still has a slim lead of three to one over the Colleyville Diamonds. And it looks like we will have a pitching change. Number 27, Cosette coming in for relief. It's been a while. She has been getting some work here and there. She had a great lesson Friday. Let's see if uh, she can uh, bring that to the live game situation. Number 10, Kenna will come in as catcher behind the dish. Looks like uh, number 12, Alyssa, will take over at second base. And we will pause. Be back shortly in about six pitches. Talk amongst yourselves. All righty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, back at the action. Bottom of the third inning, Buzz leading three to one over the Colleyville Diamonds. Number 27, Cosette, coming into the circle now, taking over for Alyssa. And a uh, swing and a miss on a strike one, good pitch. And that'll be down low for ball one. There's a good pitch on the outside edge. A little late on the swing induces a foul ball. Strike two. One ball and two strikes is a count now. And just on the outside, a little low, bringing in ball two, even up the count, two and two. And a swing and a miss, strike three. Good pitch by number 27 out there for the first out. And we will rotate to the top of the lineup for Colleyville. Number seven now, 0 for 1, struck out her first time up. <laughs> one out on her. And she went and going to call a strike one on that one. Good pitch. Yeah, 
And good pitch. He gets a piece of it and fouls it up. Two strikes now, no balls. And it'll be a little high inside, bringing in ball one. One ball and two strikes is the count now. Number one behind the count. And that's going to be down low outside, bringing the count even, two and two. And just a little low, and number one will find herself in a full count, three and two. And Cozy's calling for a rosin bag. All right, three balls and two strikes, one out. Here comes a payoff pitch. Oh, and that'll be high, bringing in ball four, and she will draw the walk. All right, number 30 hitting in a two spot, 0 for 1 in the game, grounded out to a 5-3 her last time up back in the first inning. Got a runner at first, one out on her. Showing bunt, it's gonna be high, they're gonna throw down, they're gonna get her at second, trying to steal. Good throw by Kenna. And that will be out number two. One ball, no strike, two outs now. No runners on. And a uh, swing and a miss on the inside pitch there, bringing the count even, one and one. Jessica, welcome to the stream. Thanks for hopping on, giving us a look see. And that'll be a high. Almost on the booty there. Two balls and one strike is the count. And there's a good pitch down the pipe there, bringing in the count even two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, no runners on. Oh, that was a good. That was a nice looking pitch. Didn't call it a strike. Looked like a knuckle change there, bringing the count full, three and two. Guess the batter thought it was ball four. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Here comes the payoff pitch. And that'll be a little high, bringing in ball four. That will put the runner on. All right, number 17 coming up at the box. 0 for 1, she walked her last time up back in the first. Got a runner at first. Two outs. And just a little high out of the zone there. Throw down the first. She does get back in time. That'll be ball one. It's okay. You know how to fix it. Finish tall. You got it, Cozy. And 
And that'll be a wild pitch getting away. That will advance the runner second. Hey, you're good, Cozy. And a little high, bringing in ball three. Three balls and no strikes. Runner at second scoring position with two outs. Buzz trying to get out of the inning here. <laughs> and that'll be down for ball four. And number 17 gets the walk. Next batter, number four, coming up at the box. One for one, had a single out in right field. Just over Kendall's head last time up. She's got runners at first and second with two outs. Good pitch right at the knees. Strike one looking. And just barely missing. Oh, and they do not get the throw down over at third. Both runners steal. Now, Collie Bill's got two runners in scoring position at second third. Count is one ball and one strike. And that'll be a little high for ball two. Bring the count now, two and one. There's a good pitch down the pipe, even up the count now, two and two. And a swing and a miss, strike three, and she gets out of trouble. Two strikeouts in the half inning. Not too shabby of an outing. She is still in the rebuilding process. We hope to get her back full time probably mid late April. It's all a work in progress. Gives me the thumb up. I like it. Good attitude. Also working on the mental aspect. Do you have another um, battery box? Tick, tick. All right, here we go. Back at the action, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the fourth inning. Lead-off hitter is going to be number six, Avery, hitting the five spot. One for one in the game. And she's going to take a ball just on the outside there. 
And going to chop it over to the right side. And that's going to be foul ball. Even up the count, one on one. Antonia, welcome to the stream. Oh, and she drills one deep out in right center. Oh, and she drops the ball. Avery's going to settle in there. Reaching on an error. Now batting, number five. Hard number pressed seven. to get it out on this park with the wind coming out from the outfield and it being a 220 fence. Well, we're going to have to scratch that down as an E8. Next batter up, number five, Kendall. Runner in scoring position now. No outs. Good pitch to hit. That's going to get by third base. Third base, uh, left fielder does corral it there, but that's going to allow Avery to come all the way around and score. And Kendall will be in there with a stand-up double, continuing her hot streak going four for four today. Hey, no outs. No outs. You're in the circle, no outs. Number 11, Laney in the box down, lays down a real nice bunt. Will she beat out the throw? And she is safe, beating out the throw. Good hustle by Laney there. Moving Kendall over to third. And she goes and has and takes second. Cozy Tyson. All right, number 27 coming up the box. 0 for 1 in the game. Popped out her last time up. We got runners at second and third. No outs. Great opportunity for some RBIs here. And going to call a strike one at the top of the sternum there. And she fires one deep out of left field, and she does not make the catch on it. That's going to score two runs. Here she comes around third, and she's going to be in there safe for a slide-in triple to RBIs. Now batting, number seven, Trinity Franklin. They must forgot him the reason the whole wheel it ain't. Make him crazy and get baptized. Call me rebel. Good hit out there. Extends their lead now five to one. Next batter is going to be number seven, Trinity, hitting in the ninth spot. 0 for 1 in the game. She popped up last time in the first inning. Over to second base. She's got a runner over at third now. And we do have a huddle huddle in the circle. And we will have a pitching change. Number 55 coming in for number four. We'll keep the audio up. No music playing right now. Donald Orbaugh, what's up, coach? Welcome to the stream, sir. Chad, welcome back. Kelly Casper, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Appreciate y'all hopping on. Y'all do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, heart button, hug button, laugh button, wow button. It don't matter. Any reaction is a good reaction. Helps the algorithms out on the Facebook page. All right. Number 55 says she's good. Trinity stepping on the box. No outs. 
Runner over at third with Cosette, number 27 in scoring position. Let's see if she can bring her around. <laughs> oh, and she pops her up out of play behind us. Heads up for everybody. And that'll be a long strike one. And that's going to be a fair ball, yep. And she's coming around first, and she'll be in there with a stand-up double RBI. Now batting, number 12, Alyssa Medina. All right, number 12, Alyssa coming up in the box. One for one in the game. Had a nice shot. Just past the second baseman. Her last time up back in the second inning. She's got some speed with Trinity over at second base in scoring position. Still no outs. Oh, that's going to be high for ball one. Oh, and she's going to fire one deep in the left center. That's going to get past the fielder. Going to bring Trinity home. Alyssa around second, and she's going to... Oh, here she comes. He gave her the green light. Oh, and they get her out hey, good job. at home. We're going to give her credit for the triple. No, Let's call it a stand-up triple. Casey Coach Smith. sends her around. And she'll be out at home plate for the first out. But she does get the RBI. And they extend their lead now, 8 to 1. Number 3, JC, hitting in the 11th spot, 0 for 1, lined out to left field last time up back in the second inning. And she takes a strike one, looking on the outside edge. She represents the six-run limit per half. Buzz NTX is putting five up this half inning so far. And she'll take a ball one down low, even up the count, one on one. Only one out on her. No runners on. Oh, gonna show bunt, but that's a bit too high. She'll take ball two. Two balls, one strike, one out, no runners on. And that'll be outside for ball three. JC getting ahead in the count now, three and one. Number 13, Gabrielle, overweighting in the wing. In the warm-up circle. And she'll draw the walk. And JC will be on base. With number 13, Gabrielle no coming batting. up. Number 13, Gabrielle Bowles. Mars so cold, I think I'm done with ice. If I leave her, she gonna die. But she done Gabrielle, with one for two. Put love with no knife. Singled her last time up over on the right side. Got a runner at first with one out. And then that'll be high getting away from the catcher. And JC will take second base. One ball, no strikes. Runner in scoring position now at second with Gabrielle. Oh, and she smashes one to the right side. Will that drop? The wind pushes it over. That's going to bring JC around. Gabrielle's going to settle in at third for a stand-up triple RBI, and that will be run number six. No, and that will do it. No 
All righty, we'll head to the top. Hmm. Oh, I got to get these outs in here. There we go, heading to the bottom of the fourth inning. And it looks like, oh, she giving, I thought she was talking to me. All righty, here we go, back at the action, ladies and gentlemen, bottom of the fourth inning. We do have a pitch and change. Number 11, Laney, coming in, getting some work in. Buzz leading nine to one over the Colleyville Diamonds. Next batter, number 27, hitting the five spot, 0 for one in the game. And she entices a check swing there that goes around, getting in strike one. Sherry Warner, welcome to the stream, ma'am. Your student is in the circle now. She had a great first game coming in for relief. And it'll be high outside for ball one. Bringing the count even, one on one. <laughs> and just a little high on the outside, bringing in ball two. Two balls and one strikes to count now. Lead off number 27 for Colleyville, hitting the fifth spot, 0 for 1. Woo, high and tight inside, a little chin music there. Bringing in ball three, three balls and one strike. Oh, there's going to be a ball four, inducing a walk. And Colleyville will have a leadoff walk. Let's look at the time. 112. We got started at 12.01. These are 75 minutes, so this is Colleyville's probably last chance to make a ditch, ditch effort. It is finished the inning, six run limit, so this game's pretty much in the bag. Ball one on the outside there. Runner at first, no outs. There's a good pitch. Induces a foul ball to the right side. Strike one. Bringing the count now, one and one. And that'll be outside. Bringing the count full, three and two. Come on, Lenny, you got it. And that'll be ball four. All right, looks like the stream's back. Did get a slight interruption. If you happen to miss that one, that was uh, ball four on number 55 hitting in the sixth spot for Colleyville. 
Colleyville got two runners on now, first and second. Next batter coming up for Colleyville, number 99. Had a fielder's choice her last time up back in the second, so technically she's one for one. Umpires will be calling this game any minute now. Stay quick, let's go. Nice pitch right down the pipe there. Bringing in strike one, looking. So if you do get a, if we do get a uh, stream interruption, just kind of back out, come back in, or refresh the page. It shouldn't last for more than 10, 15 seconds, but we will get them from time to time. Data plans and streaming isn't perfect. Ooh, just barely missing the zone on the top. Two balls, one strike is a count now. Runners at first and second. <laughs> Time is of the essence for Colleyville. Just on the outside. Barely missing the zone. Bringing in the count now, three and one. Keep each other up. There's a good pitch, finding the zone, bringing the count full now, three and two. Three balls, two strikes, no outs, runners at first and second. Nice. Oh, strike three looking, I thought so too. Good pitch for the first out. He's going to ask the uh, Colleyville coach if they want to continue to play. And they're going to head, go ahead and call it. And that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Buzz NTX 2010 victorious over Colleyville Diamonds 9-1. to one. They couldn't come back to win. And we are coming up uh, on the 75-minute mark. Hey, good game, ladies. So chances are, I mean, we could have finished their half. They might have gotten a run or so or whatnot. But that'll do it. Appreciate y'all coming along and joining us. So we'll sit and wait and see what bracket plays out. Bracket will start around 3.30 for all teams. We'll see where we seed if we're one, two, or three, or four. Uh, stay tuned to your social media as soon as I find out or Austin finds out. We'll post something on the Facebook page and let you know what time we'll be playing our first bracket game. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming along. Enjoy your break.